Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing an easy line and wash watercolor Christmas card. I have my watercolor paper and I'm going to go ahead and just tape it down to this board so it will help keep it in place and help it to not buckle. Now we're going to be painting some ornaments, so I'm just going to get something that I can use to uh, trace a circle. And I'm going to use this spray bottle here. I want some of the other ornaments to be a little bit smaller, so then I'm using this pencil sharpener. But you can use any object that you have around the house that you could trace to do your circles. Next, I'm going to draw the little top part of the ornament. Then I'm going to draw the little um, round circle up at the top where the um, string or the hook can go through. Now I'm going to go ahead and add in some lines for strings going from the ornament and I'm also going to put just a little bow just a little bit up from the ornament like as if it's tied there. And I'm going to do that to all of the ornaments. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my kneaded eraser and just lighten these lines up a little bit before I start using my ink pen to go ahead and add this lines with ink. Now you could go ahead and use your objects again to go ahead and trace the circle, but I don't find that I trace actually that great with the circle, so I'm just going to go ahead and use my pen and go around and kind of fix up my circles a little bit where they were a little wonky at some places. And I'm just going to do that with the pen here. So you can do whichever way you like. It's just personal preference. Now I'm going to go ahead and erase the little bit of pencil lines that are still left and then we'll be ready to go ahead and use our watercolor. Now I'm going to be using the Da Vinci's Denise's Earth Friendly Watercolor Palette but it doesn't really matter what watercolor you use, you just use whatever you have. I will say this paper that I'm using is not the best and so the water was not really flowing like it should when you're doing wet on wet but it works out in the end. I'm going to go ahead and get the whole ornament wet with some clean water. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some green paint. You can see what I mean here on the paper. Just the paint was not really flowing very well on this paper. It's just kind of sitting there. So I tried to also add a little bit of yellow kind of to get a little bit of the mixture of the paint together, but it didn't really, didn't really work out too well. However, in the end, the ornament looked fine. So 
you just do however you like whichever color you want to do on each ornament is fine Next, I decided to paint this ornament over here red, and I'm still having the same trouble with the paint. But, like I said, this is supposed to be a simple line and wash, so it doesn't need to be really fancy. So if you have a paper that's not so good like this one, you can still get a nice card in the end. And this ornament I decided to go ahead and paint purple so I just grabbed a purple here to go ahead and add that in I was trying to keep the top a little bit lighter uh, so it would kind of look like a highlight there at the top of the ornament I decided to go in with a little more purple here since the ornament was looking a little bit too light. I'm going to use my Paul Rubens metallic watercolor paints to just add a little bit of gold to the tops of the ornaments. Now I'm going to go ahead and put some lines on here so we can write our message. I'm going to go in with a pencil first here and write Merry Christmas and then I'll go over it with a pen. It is a little bit difficult writing on um, cold press watercolor paper because of course it's a little bit bumpy but it'll be fine. Don't worry. I know I am not confident in my hand lettering but practice makes perfect, right? Okay, now I'm just going to go over it with a pen and also kind of thicken up some sections of it just to give a little more interest. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of splatter because I think that's going to give me kind of the casual feel that I'm going for with this Christmas card. You know, we didn't do the ornaments perfect. There's a little bit of lines showing that we get a little bit of the splatter effect on. I think it'll be a nice look. And to do that, just get a little bit of water on your brush, get some paint. You can use your another brush to hit the one brush onto, or you can just hit it on with your hand, either way. And you can do a few colors like the green the purple the red and then I also am going to use some of the gold for this Now I'm going to go in with my metallic watercolors and I'm going to grab the gold and I'm just going to do like a little border along the edges of the card. And you could do this with a ruler if you wanted to. I'm not going to. I'm just going to go in and take my chances here 
and try and do a straight line. We'll see how that goes. Here's the finished card. I hope you give it a try. And as always, thanks for watching.